In the mid-1970s, Prosopis juliflora, locally known as Madenge, was first introduced to Kenyan arid areas. At first, the alien species made life better for dryland communities because it grew on barren landscapes, reduced dust storms, provided charcoal, and shed to their livestock. But it soon started spreading incredibly fast, and today the weed tends to pose more harm than good. Residents are getting maimed by its poisonous thorns. Their farm and grazing lands are being ravaged and rendered useless by this fast-growing weed. Haya alikuwa ni mashamba ambayo tulikuwa tunategemea kulima mahindi, kulima pojo, kulima kunde. Lakini saa hii imekuwa ni mirenge mitupu. Saa hii wanyama wapori wako hapa ndani. Saa hii manyoka wote wako hapa ndani. Sasa imekuwa ni shida saa hii kuingia hapa ndani kujisaidia katika maisha yetu. Tana River County is one of the most affected regions. Tana River County locals have been appealing to the government or any organization to uproot the Madenge tree. Hii ni shamba yangu ambayo mwanzo kulikuwa na mithenge ambayo hii mithenge menitoa kwa shamba. Tunayo hii kazi ya kukata hii mithenge. Kwa hivyo tunaomba mashirika na sirikali wa tusaidie kwa hilo jangu. We are trying to uh, reduce the effects of Madenge species because uh, the species is invasive in this environment, meaning that uh, no much plants uh, can be planted here uh, in the presence of Madenge. So we have uh, subcontracted uh, Kenya Flying Labs to do for us uh, um, geomapping, basically to look at those hotspots areas that have been affected. These are the areas that uh, will do the rehabilitation process. I have been here for the past uh, three days. I uh, did a bit of community engagement to just let the community understand uh, what we are doing here, why we are flying the drones here. We got permission from the Kenya Civil Aviation Authority as well, and we had to share these letters with uh, the county commissioner as well as other security agencies. We are supporting World Vision for an ecological rehabilitation project, currently doing mapping uh, of seven villages. And uh, the intention of this is to understand the, uh, the ground and uh, see which areas exactly need uh, rehabilitation. The mission involves mapping out of 2,250 acres of communal and rangelands between two constituencies, Garson North and Kipini East. We are collecting drone data that will be processed into orthomosaics and vegetative indices that will be used to identify degraded areas for clearing and restoration. My name is Margaret Chapkiri. I am a GIS data analyst at Kenya Flying Labs. So my role in this project is to analyze the drone data we, uh, we have acquired from the field and also plan on the seeding. It's, it's quite a, an innovative collaboration that we're having with Kenya Flying Labs because uh, number one, uh, you know, through this partnership we can be able to clearly have an understanding on how the environmental degradation has happened um, and in the process, provide us, uh, you know, evidence-based information that can help us to see how best we can be able to, um, you know, tweak our intervention to address the critical issues around here. So we are hoping in this uh, uh, initiative also to use this technology even to for receding purposes. The drones were to sahi while the vision of my letter to na piga picha. Tuonyeshe hayo maeneo ambayo tunaweza panda miti. Hivi karibuni drones itaanza kutusaidia tupande miti ambayo tutasaidika kuliko kukaa na madenge ambayo haitusaidii kitu tunaweka wanyama wapori huku mistuni. Sijui drone ama ni nini. Kindege kinaruka huko juu. Kinafanya kitu kama inaitwa survey. E, likuwa na omba hiyo kitu kama ni kitu cha kunifaidisha mimi kama mkulima. Eh, 
matokeo yake atakapotoka mazao yake atakapotoka baada ya hiyo drone kufanya hiyo kazi yake e, nione kama ni matokeo ambayo kuwa ataweza kumsaidia mimi na familia yangu ama kwa community kwa ujumla Shukrani kubwa kwa sababu wa division pia wamekuja na drone ambayo wanapiga picha kwa hii sehemu yetu wajue hii hali ya marara hii mambo ya majia na takataka zingine ambazo zinahangaisha mkulima ndio wajue wanaweza tusaidia na jia ipi ama watakuja na bimu vipi ya kusaidia mkulima. Kwa hiyo tunashukuru tena sana sana sana. Asante sana.